Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Zachary O'Rourke. Um, and in today's video, I do wanna touch on a subject that I find is extremely important, um, especially for our age group that are kind of um, young and going into a, the beginning of our careers and finally coming across some money. And it's definitely something we weren't taught in school and that is budgeting. Like I found when I came over to Canada for the first time, it was a bit of a surprise because you had to pay for everything for the first time um, previously to coming over to Canada I was uh, just in college and really my main expense was my burritos on the daily um, and on top of that I'd say the gym membership came in on number two and I suppose my car was pretty expensive as well but I did not know how expensive it would be to live by yourself like it's absolutely crazy and I soon had to learn when I came over here is like holy crap I need to put money away for different things, like especially rent. Like this apartment does not come free. If I do not structure the pay I get for my job properly, I will not be able to make rent. And that is super awkward. I will have to go back to my mom and dad and be like, hey, I can't afford rent. Um, so budgeting is definitely the subject that I've been really focusing on the past couple of months um, for a few reasons being that it is really important to budget just to basically plan for the future, um, not just live paycheck to paycheck because I know most people actually do and that's a scary thought and I was for the first couple of months when I came over to Canada myself. So if you're living paycheck to paycheck right now, don't worry. But I would advise just watching the rest of this video and just taking some tips on board on to how to plan further than just living paycheck to paycheck because any day, especially if you're living on your own in a country, um, anything could go wrong and you might need money fast. So um, let's hop straight into it. Um, basically what I'm gonna share with you guys today is an Excel file sheet that I used that was actually passed down to me through a colleague. I did ask him could I share it and uh, he, basically, he basically breaks down his pay each month so that everything is accounted for and he can save for things more than just day-to-day uh, -day life. It's really, really simple and at the start I was like, mm, yeah, okay, I get it, but I don't really see the use in it. But honestly, after a couple of months, I'm seeing huge differences to this. So I encourage you guys, um, if you do want this file, to just let me know. I don't have a system to go online and download it because I actually just haven't looked into that. So just uh, email me. I will put my email in the description below. It is info at soarproductions.com. And uh, just email me or comment down below and I will send you on the file. Uh, because I want to share it with you guys. I don't really want anything out of it. I'm not selling it. I just want people to use it because I feel like if more people budgeted, we would be definitely a lot more set up for the future. So hopping into that, we're going into the laptop today, guys. It's been a while. So hopping into the laptop, um, this is my Excel sheet. So uh, firstly, I know you're looking going, that is a lot of lines and numbers and colors. Yes, and that is why I wanted to do a video on explaining how it works. It's actually pretty simple, I swear. So um, up the top of my Excel sheet, you will see the month, which is November 2019. I think that's fairly understandable. And um, below that is just the pay period one. So for me, I get paid twice a month. Um, like regularly, this is through my job, and um, I basically broke that down into two pay periods. So the first one is zero, or day one to 15, and the other one is 16 to either 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, depending on the month. Uh, okay, 32 doesn't exist. Shauna just uh, tuned in there and told me that 32 doesn't exist, and she is correct. So ding, ding, winner for her. Um, I am not an, <laughs> okay, I should know that. Um, firstly, so, I didn't want to put in all my money here because like, you know, there's a borderline. I know I share a lot of things with people on YouTube. There is a limit and I'm not showing you what I earn each month. So we're going to do a template together, together as friends. Um, so let's say I earn, okay. So let's say I earn $2,000 a month. Uh, it is in dollars because I'm in Canada at the moment, um, but you can change it to Euro pretty simply. Um, so. I have $2,000 a month to play with, okay? So this basically is designed to get you thinking about your expenditure before it actually happens, rather than going, okay, I have to pay out this, 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 as the bills hit, I'm basically pre-planning for everything. So there is absolutely no shock when things happen. I know where my money is going. So let's go with rent. Let's say your rent is $800 a month, or $800 a month. That, that is split into two for me. So. I put a $400 in pay period one, $400 in pay period period two. So $400 here. Um, that leaves me with $1,600 to play with here. 
Okay, so when it comes to things like entertainment, like it's very impossible to just be like, okay, I'm going to go to the cinema, so that's ten dollars, and then I'm going to get a burrito, so that's twenty dollars, and then I'm going to buy that um, nice bar of chocolate I like. Like you cannot account for those. So I group all them together and put them down as general entertainment expenses. For me, that's three hundred dollars every two month, two weeks, um, and. It is tough to stick to that, but uh, at this moment in time, because I'm trying to save for things, and it's just a budget, a number I have to hit. So um, on top of that, you should be trying to put investments away. I'm not gonna preach on that. For me, I put 10% of my wages into investments and 10% into savings for um, the upcoming trip. Me and Shauna are going where we travel America, but I will discuss that in another video as well. Basically, we're traveling. So. 10% into, into savings, which 10% of 200 is, or 2,000 is $200. And 10% of the big trip that we're going on is another $200. So that's every two weeks. Um, on top of that, your credit card bill does change month to month. Um, so obviously it's for me, like in Canada, they love credit cards and most of my direct debits are on credit cards. So it's hard to kind of track them each month. Um, but I do just take whatever remaining credit card bill I have um, from the day before the month to the month's end and pay it off then each uh, pay period. So uh, on top of that, I these are just expenses I would have. So uh, just general business expenses for my e-commerce business. Um, then you do have, uh, for us, good food is just like our food delivery service, which is going to cost me like $40 a week, $40 another week. Um, studio is my gym, 190, and then car to go is 50. Um, so that leaves us with uh, $250 to spare. So I have $250 to spare. So um, probably my credit card bill could be $200. Um, Spotify could be, I think I'm on a student plan, so it's like $5, um, which is pretty cheap. I'm left with four, $45. So the key here is to not have money left over. You want to have money accounted for. So what I would do there is, you know, I could either be like, okay, I paid off everything I want. I'm gonna add another $45 to my entertainment this month. Or I could be like, you know what? I have $45 unaccounted for here. I'm gonna add it into my investments or my savings. So for me, I try to put things into my travel fund. So two, four, five is gone in there. And that's my full month, or that's my full two weeks accounted for. So as you can see, you know, it, it, it involves a lot of tweaking. For the first six weeks, you were just gonna be like, oh crap, forgot about this expense and that expense and this expense. Um, but eventually you do just start to see a pattern of, okay, I know where my money's going. I know what I'm earning. I know what I, I can expect. And you just start putting things away properly. And it gets you into these crazy good habits. Um, and the thing is creating a good habit, pre-planning. Um, and then all of a sudden you do start having savings. So as you can see down here in the bottom, then all of a sudden you, you look at your stock levels and next thing you've a, you've a thousand dollars in stocks. And then all of a sudden um, you have, go to your travel fund and you all of a sudden have another, another thousand. And it's like, whoa, this kind of came from just planning because you have to admit you would not put that money away unless you actually plan to put it away. Like it's, otherwise it would just be like, ah, I'll throw that in every so often, but this is structure. So structure is key to actually saving and compounding your investments and just that side of things. I know I sound like I'm a big finance nerd here. I'm definitely not. I'm just trying to pre-plan for things. Um, and then if you do have any kind of debt and stuff like that, um, be it student loans or car loans and stuff, you can just put that off that and each, each pay period you start putting money off your debt. So soon enough you will see this number here, the total savings just climbing, just constantly climbing each pay period and the total debt going down to zero. And that's an incredible feeling. Um, it's the same with the week two or week three and four of the month, basically just plopping in your rent, your food, again, any other expenses, uh, depending on when direct debits come out of your account. And uh, just if you're wondering about the payment types here, that is automatic if they automatically come off your card or if you manually have to go pay them. So good habits, basically each time you get paid, let's spend 10 minutes that morning, just log into your Excel file, go through your payments, tick off down here, paid my rent, paid my entertainment, paid my Adobe, go the whole way down and you get to the bottom and that's it. Like all your money is accounted for for the two weeks. I think that is simple. Uh, you can let me know. Let me know down below in the comments if you feel that is simple or useful. 
Um, it definitely works for me. I'm trying to get Shauna started on as well, and I have been preaching it to my friends too, is to just uh, start budgeting properly. Like it does absolutely no harm. It doesn't cost anything. These Excel files are free and I'm giving it to you for free. So I hope you found this video useful. If you do have any questions down below, if there's anything I didn't cover, just hit me up and ask, um, and I will definitely get back to your question. And as I said, info at storeproductions.com, just shoot me an email if you do want the Excel file and I'll send it to you. Um, um, and then I'm looking forward to hearing some successful stories of people uh, putting a, a lot of money into stocks and a lot of money into investments or a lot of uh, money into just travel as well. So um, just lastly, before I finish this up, um, I, I know a few people are gonna ask already what I'm using for investments. Um, at the moment, I'm just building investments. So I'm not going into this like, oh my God, I need to sell stocks and buy stocks every day because that over -compl complicates things. I'm using an app, it's a Canadian app called Wealth Simple, and uh, I'm just putting my money in there and getting about an 8% return annually, which is not huge, but it's definitely not nothing small as well. The, the power of compound interest is incredible. So there's apps like that for every country. Just Google Robo Advisors, obviously do your reviews and ensure that they fully are legit because you are putting a lot of money in there each pay period. Um, but yeah, for me, it's well simple. So um, check it out. And I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just, uh, I am a big fan of them the past kind of year. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did find it useful, share it, tell a friend. And uh, basically I would love to see more and more people my age or any age just using this system to start budgeting and pre-planning because it will definitely help everyone in the long run. So thanks for watching and I will catch you all in next week's video. Peace. Everybody's walking toward the dead road on a place in a foreign world Tattoo is a